Hello everyone, here comes another FFT Arena matchup here. This time we have Fnatic's uh, team known as Mimes Camp Mimes. And on bottom we have um, Shentroy's team which is known as Burrows 4, I think it's called. Burrows Mark 4, something like that. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't get the name of the team correctly, but it will definitely, the correct name will be on, on the title of the video. Anyways, for Fnatic we got Mime the Mime. My Mime the Mime. Oh, my me. Excuse me. My knee the mime and mime the mime. Jeez, I got too many mimes. <laughs> um, as for the team, as for the team itself, um, we got two sets of clone mimes here that do basically the same thing: more shards and uh, punch art, chakra band for status immunity, carabini mail for extra armor, well, extra. HP as well as one point PA power wrist for physical evade. HP restore is always nice. Um, you have repeating fist for bypassing evasion, wave fist for range damage, and sigma magic chakra revive for two of these mimes. This is a white magic using mime with equip shield and abandon. Very nice. So this one is very magic, um, anti magic pretty much. Um, you pro I mean, I do like the 2MA on the Holy Miter, but you probably could have done the Golden Hairpin if you want to do more damage with Dia. But I can understand needing to do the odds of Raze and Raze 2 and things like that. So it's, it's understandable. Uh, this one's mostly support than anything else. And this is a Time Magic Mine with like Comet, Haste, Sinkhole, Balance. Has to be Raze, so when she gets back up, she can definitely go for the Balance and it should do some decent damage. Really, de really decent damage. Um, critical quicks there. So that way, when she's in critical, she can always run away and do a time magic spell. Uh, don't know how how often the mimes are going to be able to do that consistent me consistency amount of damage. But yeah, I guess we'll see, I suppose. We will most definitely see. Now, for Shintroy, we got Dal Rourke, the Geomancer. Varek, the Priest. Carl, the Archer. Or Carol. Karil, uh, Arim the Oracle, excuse me. So, let's go with this Geomancer here. Berserk, 13 PA, two-hand slasher. He's scary. Quite scary. Salty Rage now grants always Berserk, so this Geomancer is going to do nothing but attack. He has Dragon Spirit to boot as well. And he has a couple of Chivalry skills in case his Salty Rage sh should get stolen. Uh, Warpath, so his slash can do even more damage. This Geomancer could probably get lucky with a critical 999 damage with this kind of setup. He can get really lucky with that kind of critical hit. I am been dying to see this again. Uh, without the aid of Battle Song, mind you. But I do approve of PA stacking gear. Uh, we have a Priest here with uh, Lore. She only knows Bio 3. And it can boost damage done with Bow 3, thanks to Sadist Whip. Um, damage Split to soak off whatever damage is done to her. Uh, float to make her immune to Earth. She also has like Cure 3, Raise 2, Asuna. Things like that. A 12 speed Archer with Draw. I believe he has Masamune. Also carries stuff like. Um, I want to say Armor Break, right? No, arm aim, hawk's eye, and execute. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, very fast with night killer. Can, can and probably will inflict blind. So that's going to be pretty annoying for the physical attackers. Although these two, I think, are immune to blind. Thanks to the chakra band. So that won't be going off as much. And finally, a summon magic oracle with Bahamut. Uh, fairy carbuncle. No, I believe, no, I believe just Mugo and fairy. Sorry. And also has the spell magic to paralyze and sleep. The thing about this particular setup though is she's probably we opt to go for more bah Bahamut over her status spells. So I don't know how good of an idea pairing summon magic with an oracle really is. Um, I guess we'll I guess we shall see, but more often than not, she's gonna go for Bahamut. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to hit this mine in particular because she has all that magic evade. I think 70% magic evade thanks to abandon. So that's going to be really interesting. We shall go to map 105, Terminate. Yeah. 
so Kara will go first and go for Masamune. Now this Geomancer is hasted and he's berserked. So he's definitely gonna be doing some really scary damage here. Really scary. See, 81% don't act coming up. The mime's going to redirect. And successful. Bio three hits. Not for a lot though. Here's Hawk's Eye for oil, but there's an HP restore though. And here comes the Geomancer! Oh, 700 damage! 700! Good god! Death sentence, but Dragon Spirit, yes! This Geomancer lives! This Geomancer will live! Wow, that 700 damage axe shot! Raise two from the uh from the female mime. There's another Hawk's Eye coming up. Now she's poisoned. And oh my god, 797. I'm expecting 999 damage from this Geomancer. I really am. And I hope it comes too. There's another Hawk's Eye and more bile. Right? Raise two. Does connect. And swing and miss there. Well, the G-Man's gonna be going down anyways. And there's Bahamut dropping two mines. And Chakra, yeah, the mines is not doing enough damage with the Marsh Shrug because the PA is not really that high. HP Restore! <laughs> nice. Bow 3, Bahamut again. And no HP Restore this time. Alright, so we'll see what this mine can do. Stop. Oh, it misses 87% too. Jeez. Priest is looking for a cure spell. And Oracle's going to be doing Bahamut again. And 185 damage. Mine's going to look for a balance onto this Geomancer. Does not drop him. And there's Masamune. I really want this Geomancer to get the kill and blow in. Not the Oracle. I want to see some crazy axe damage. Well, I don't think it's going to happen right now. And, ah, uh, no re-raise trick. Well, Shin Troy takes round one. We're going to round two. Okay, round two is about to begin. We are now on map 46, the cemetery of Heavenly Night Ball Banes. Last match, the Geomancer was doing ridiculous high damage. Really high damage. And the Oracle made me and everyone else sad because she keeps using Bahamut and not her status spells. And then Geomancer did not get the 999 damage I was hoping for. At least not yet. Yeah, the other thing too is, like I mentioned before just now, the Oracle is still just going to keep spamming Bahamut. And it got blocked think, because the mime having magic evasion. There's an arm aim though. And that arch is really fast, my god. See, mine's gonna fly all the way forward. Secret Fist. Dragon Spirit. And 370. Just enough to drop that mime. There's a revive that did hit, but he should be going down relatively soon. A stop. 87% missed twice. Fenaya must be crying inside right now. There goes Haste and Re-Raise. 
And Shinstroy is going to be able to take this. This early. Revive Mist. Then I go to the other mime. Stop finally lands, but it's too late, unfortunately. HP Restore lands. Let's see, another stop coming up. Revive missed twice. That's really poor luck for Fenrir here. See more Bahamut coming up. And HP Restore triggers again. Comet from one of the mimes. Revive miss for a third time. 86% and that missed three times in a row. Jesus Christ, that is so unlucky. Let's see. Balance? Balance. See if I managed to get rid of the poison at least. And I might as well pick up the crystal of his fallen brethren who he failed to revive three times. Ash shot got blocked thanks to the mime's physical evasion. There's a cure three and more Bahamut. Down she goes. Death is again and Dragon Spirit again. Poison proc once again. And eight, 840 damage. Jesus. We are 159 um, points of damage away from reaching 999. Better luck next time, I suppose. Shintroy takes it. GG.